We are here at Champaign Early Childhood Center. I hope I got the name right, because if not, then we're in a bad spot. No, um, but we are here to award Teacher of the Month to Miss Kate for April. Yeah. So that means time is running out. But um, she's got a really cool classroom, and the nomination is just fantastic. That's awesome. So it's going to be exciting to go there, especially to see the reaction mm -hmm. of some of the, and you can see they got plenty of energy. Yeah. So it'll be exciting to it'll see be, how they're going to react. And it'll be hard keeping this guy out of there. Oh, I want to spend the rest of the day in there, frankly. Yeah, so let's go. Well, um, yeah, Kate's just one of our awesome teachers here at the Early Childhood Center. Um, our program is a, a blended program, which okay. seems we means we serve children with and without, and without disabilities. Oh, okay. And I think the, the parent that nominated Kate just really appreciated how inclusive her classroom is, how she celebrates that diversity in our program, okay. and builds on the strengths of students. I need to interrupt for one moment because we have some special visitors here today. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a shocker for you, Kate. <laughs> but you have been uh, nominated to be uh, the, uh, the Teacher of the Month for 94.5 uh, radio station. And so there's quite a crew here that wants to So I kind of heard some of that where she was saying you've been nominated. So that's all we wanted to tell you is that you've been nominated. Yeah. We're out here. Uh, we've interrupted you. No, <laughs> no other reason. No, uh, we are here because obviously you were not just nominated, but you've also been picked as our Teacher of the Month. So I'm going to read just a little bit of the nomination here, which is framed there for you. There's a lot of words, so we're not going to waste that much time. But um, basically, this is kind of the gist of why we picked you. Uh, the nomination says, Miss Kate has gone above and beyond to meet our daughter's educational needs and to create a warm, welcoming environment in her classroom. Ms. Kate is empowering our daughter while also normalizing what acceptance of kiddos with disabilities should look like both in school and in the larger society. She is a world changer. As educators ourselves, we know how tough teachers' jobs are. However, we know our kiddo is with the best. She is truly deserving of this honor. Obviously, we agreed, so we have things for you, and congratulations. Here are some things for you. There's yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. Some shirts and stuff in there. Right, so you can just see yourself. Yeah. And then um, the framed oh, nomination, so obviously. A lot more. What is yeah. it? And then our so friend. Some words in yeah. What's that? Yeah. Maybe and you then want to read it? Our friend Rick Ridings has something else for you. Oh, congratulations. Well, thank That's you. Awesome. Thank you for all these kids. <laughs> I know like, see how excited they are, but we got you a big check, so we got you a check for $100, that's just for you. Oh, wow, so, wow. I agree, just for you. Oh, wow, thank you. Did you always want to be a teacher? Is this, has this been the plan right from, yeah. uh, from the get-go? Um, I don't know. No, actually, I went to University of Illinois Chicago. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I went to school in Chicago, and then I went to Illinois State University, and then I went to Chicago State University, and then I went to University of Illinois Chicago, and then I went to Illinois State University, 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 and then I went I started I teaching there. I first I studied Chinese for a while, and then I taught I English, and I taught in kindergarten there, and I really liked it. And I came back, and I worked at a school like this as a TA, and decided it was what I wanted to do. So I went back and got my master's, and then that's great. So you yeah. kind of fell into the kindergarten then part of it, right? Or, or preschool? Well, I've always the loved kids, kids, so okay. yeah. I think looking back, you know, I could have seen this as a logical course of action, but you know, when you're in high school. Oh yeah. You don't know what yeah. you want to do, so yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what, what's uh, what's the best part of your job? I think. Uh, just being with the kids. Yeah. Yeah. You just really like it. Mm -hmm. uh, and seeing yeah, seeing them learn and developing the classroom community where they all care about each other and are learning together and work work together and learn from each other. So it seems like you do a lot of activities in here. I mean, like I see you like painting over there. Mm -hmm. Is that a mm -hmm. big part of what you 
try to do every day? Yeah, so our program is a play-based program. Um, there's lots of research that shows that kids learn best through play. So we really try to protect that and then offer um, really rich play environments where they can work out learning and play. Well, thank you and yeah. congratulations. Clearly, yeah. you deserve it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Sure. Of course, yeah. All right, so another Teacher of the Month down as we get towards the end of the school year here. And actually, we're doing this right here specifically because this is apparently artwork from Miss Kate's classroom, is what we're told, which is great yeah. and very cool. So, you know, I, I, I thought it was really cool. Rick and I, we were talking about the idea of learning through play. We thought it was a really cool idea. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, excited uh, to go down there and see uh, Teacher of the Month for April. Right now. So... You know, uh, keep the nominations coming in at mix945.com and school year is just about up, so don't, don't wait.